Hello, everybody. How are y'all doing? It's Sunday morning. Tat Talk with Jamal. How are y'all doing? Yesterday, I did a video said that we need to go back to a society called Prove It. Not a society that says, we believe you. That is not the American society that our forefathers wanted. At one time, we had Prove It. It's not what you know, it's what you can prove. We have went away with that because of we have sympathy for racism. We have sympathy for um, sexual assaults, rape. All these things we allow people to make the accusation. But if you tell them, prove it, that's offensive. And we are supposed to be an innocent until proven guilty. So in other words, if a woman accuses a man of rape, He's you supposed to look at him as he's innocent, no matter how she cries. If a person says he called me the N word, well, you supposed to say, prove it. It don't matter. I want to see the evidence. But we've gotten away from that and it's harming our nation. One of the things that I did notice yesterday, black men were agreeing with a prove it society. Black women got mad at me for some reason, but black men didn't. I guess when you tell us about all these stories and all these towns that was allegedly burned down for a white woman accusing a black man of rape, but today if a black woman accuses a black man of rape, it's all, it's all of a sudden just believe her. Tupac Shakur, Mike Tyson. See, guys who totally would disagree with me. Yesterday, when I mentioned that part about Tupac and Mike Tyson, you 100, man. You got a point. Straight fire on that. So, it all, so yes, when it comes to black men, Black men are seeing things different from majority of black women. That is true. We are seeing things a lot different. Now, does that mean every black woman see things like the Democrat Party want them? No, because there are a lot of black, strong, Christian, conservative women out there who, no, they're not going along with that. But you don't see them in the media. And if they are in the media, they are attacked. And these are black women that's married to black men. You know, everybody praises Kentonji Jackson Brown. She's married to a white guy. Kamala Harris, she's married to a white guy. But Candace Owens is the coon because she's married to a white guy. Clarence Thomas a coon because he's married to a white woman. But Don Lemon talk about white men and black men who getting on their knees for white men, and Don Lemon is literally married to a white man, getting on his knees for a white man, literally. Yeah, the black community's prrr, got some hypocrisy amongst them. Alveda King, I do believe she's married to a black man. Oh, she's a oh, she's a another they call a coon. See, black folk love to call people coons that don't agree with their black supremacists or black nationalist movement. Oh, by the way, they call Martin Luther King a coon. Based off, and oh, here it goes. Here's the part I want y'all to hear me out. Based off today's standard, Malcolm X will be a coon. Malcolm X didn't want to integrate. Malcolm X said, don't ask white folk for nothing. Malcolm X said we in the black community, if we take all our pennies and nickels and put them together, we can form our own factories. We can form our own businesses. We don't need them. We don't need them. Now, I dare black man to get powerful and strong enough to say that white liberals with the help of black women will bring him down. Oh, they, they will get black. Oh, black lesbian women. Because there may be a black sister who may be attracted to him. And he may look like Shamar Moore a little bit. 
and or, or a young Wesley Snipes, and, and he she may be smitten by him, but a black lesbian ain't gonna want him. Yeah, that's a little dirty little secret in a black community. A lot of black lesbians are running things. Not black women, black lesbians. I guess that's why the family is so much a threat. The black family is so much a threat to him. But, oh yeah, Malcolm X would be considered a coon today to these black liberals. You talking about transgender and same-sex marriage and which destroys the black family? A black young man don't need a father in the home? Malcolm makes a call y'all coons and everything and had y'all running. But would you assassinate him just like the nation of Islam did?